Hello, people of the internet. I am Solrak Dragon, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Terra Story. When we last left off, we were victorious over the Mirage Arena, or at least all of the challenges that we have currently unlocked. And now, with all of our side questing done, and I do literally mean all of it, I mean look at our reports. We have um, completed the ice cream guide. There's only a couple commands that we're missing and um, treasures. I'm guessing it's just in this world. Same thing with stickers, unversed, all that stuff. We're almost completely and utterly done. All that's left is, I'm guessing, the Badlands where we will confront Airquas, or not Airquas, Xanort, once and for all. And talk to him about his lies that he keeps feeding us that we keep buying because hair is very gullible very gullible but it's probably gonna be a cutscene right off so i'm gonna turn my mic off master xehanort you wish to see me there is no time to lose. I have terrible news. Ventress has stumbled upon the secrets of his origins. Then? I just saw him. He passed right in front of me. What happened? Ventress is on his way home. If you could have seen the fury in his eyes, I'm certain he's capable of anything. I fear the boy may attempt to force the truth out of Ericus. Master Terra, you must hurry back and see to your friend's safety. Of course. <laughs> Terra, he's playing you for the fool. We unlike the dark impulse command style, but Terra, he is literally probably playing you for a freaking fool. You're buying him. I doubt Benita, I doubt Ven figured out the truth of his origins. And you're behind the truth of his origins. And now that place is locked off from us. Great. Well, I guess it's back here to the land of departure. But um, let's check out what this dark impulse command style is all about. Um, open the menu. I guess stats, command styles, dark impulse. Activates when you are already using a command style and follow with a zero gravity magnet or dark related command. So if we still ran transcendence, it would probably work there. Um, story for the Badlands. Um, yep, so nothing really new there. Command collection, yep, that followed in as dark impulse. So the last one is probably a tier three command. and. If I am right, I am betting that it is, um, what's it called? Okay. Hopefully third time's the charm. This is gonna be the third time I've tried to film this because it keeps cutting out whenever I venture to the land of departure. But anyways, the last of the finish commands I'm pretty sure is Rhythm Mixer in the sticker album right here. So I'm betting when we find that last sticker, wherever it is, we will probably get that last command. As for the last, um, friendship command, I'm betting that it's a transformation or something, because the unversed missions tab has not been fully completed yet, and that means that there's still one more unversed mission. Anyways, let's land in the land of departure. Hopefully, Fraps won't go screwy on me again. But you must... What? Master! Have you gone mad? Terra! I command you, step aside. No! You will not heed your master? I won't! Why do all my attempts to reach you fail? Don't have it in your heart to obey. Then you will have to share Ventus's fate. Yeah. Yeah. 
Enough, Terra! He's right! Quiet! You may be my master, but I will let you hurt my friend! Has the darkness taken you, Terra? Wait, Terra! Well... That was certainly an intense cutscene. I'm sorry about it being all choppy. For some reason, Aver Media Center does not like that cutscene. I don't know how many times I've had to redo it. Hopefully it'll be fine with this battle as well and it won't cut massively, but that was some cutscene. Some reason Aircraw is attacking Ben. And we are still getting a bit of cut and lag, but hopefully we can win. Uh, he seems to be immune to some? fire, earth, gotcha. how about Zentetsuken, we get him with this, yes we can get him with Zentetsuken, okay we are already in the dark impulse command style, we didn't get to see the finish for some reason we couldn't cut out our meat, which sucks, but it's I guess somewhat understandable, not really, but Hey, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I just need to get enough focus up so that I can perform the ultimate hand again, or maybe I don't. The ultimate weapon is clearly a very powerful place, because we've already taken down here. And we got maximum HP increased. Okay, hopefully that's it for the massive amounts of lag with the cutscenes, but I do not know. Hopefully it is, because I don't know how many times I've had to reload a save on this thing. It's just been so bad. Alright, muting myself. What have I done? Master. I just... wanted to keep Ven safe. No. I failed you, Terra. Perhaps I myself for the darkness inside you and now I've done worse raised my keyblade against you and Ventus my own heart is done Master Ericus. What a sight. Why do you trouble yourself with remorse, Master? I was bent on doing harm to your friend, his own pupil. <laughs> Why? You know, at times I find your progress quite striking. But you still fall short. My boy! To darkness! What do you mean? Still so blind. Then I will make you see. Come to the place where all Keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. The Keyblade Graveyard! There you will watch your dear Ventus and Aqua meet their ends. And the last light within you will die! Well, that was an emotional cutscene. Ericus is dead, it seems. He realized the darkness in his own heart, and he died. You won't need a home anymore where you're going. What? Xehanort! 
though I have a feeling Xehanort is partially responsible because he is doing whatever this is. He's destroying the land of departure. I know I'm talking during the cutscene, but it's just so much to talk about. I mean, we fought Ericus, but I kept calling Eric Claus for some reason, with the darkness inside of our hearts. We beat him. He realized that he was embracing the darkness by attacking Ben. He died, then Xehanort confronted us. I'm pretty sure he probably is the one that actually killed Ericus. Ericus didn't just die. And now, he's destroying the land of departure, Terra's home. And he said that Ben and Aqua will meet their ends as well. And he said to me, at the place where all, key all the Keyblade wielders before have left their mark. I don't know where that is, but I think we'll find out soon enough. At least Terra now sees that the darkness isn't the answer. Or at least I hope it is. Aqua. I won't let him hurt you. I'm pretty sure he realizes it now. Alright. So. We've obtained Chaos Ripper. A keyblade that, with long reach that does little for your magic, but provides an outstanding boost in strength. We've also obtained Xehanort's report number 8. I very much doubt that that Keyblade is better than ours, but we might as well check, and we will read Xehanort's report as well. I think... I think that I'm gonna also land in the Land of Departure one last time, just to see what exactly has changed. Um, items first. Stock? No, not stock. Equip. Where is it? Chaos Ripper. Yeah, it's superior in terms of strength, but magic, it's not. And considering we have quite a few magic commands, it wouldn't be worth it. Um, under stats, Dark Impulse is still marked as new for some odd reason. And reports. We've completed the story. I guess I didn't go over this in the reload. I don't remember how many... I don't remember how many times I've done it, and I keep cutting out for some reason, so it's gotta be something with Aver. Alright, I'm gonna just let it, you guys read over this, or actually, because the cutscene was so bad, I will read over it. The first thing Terra saw upon returning to his beloved home was Master Ericus attacking Ben. Terra quickly jumped between them. Master ordered him to step aside, and though he refused, neither could he hold off his master's formidable attacks forever. Pushed to the limit, Terra released the powers of darkness inside of him, enraging Ericus. At the, <clears throat> at the last chance he got, Terra opened a portal to the lanes between and tossed Ven inside. Then he and Ericus clashed, fighting until both they both hardly had the strength to stand. Only then, battered and wounded, Terra calmed down and realized what he had done. He stepped closer to the ma his master to beg forgiveness, but Ericus slumped forward and faded away leaving only his keyblade behind. Terra looked up, stunned, and saw Master Xehanort. The old man dared him to come to the keyblade graveyard. All keyblade wielders leave their mark on fate. There, he said, Terra would watch Ventus and Aqua meet their ends, and the last light in him would die. His true intentions finally unmasked, Xehanort proceeded to tear the land of departure asunder. As the world he had known and grown up in collapsed around him, Terra rushed into the bat lanes between, swearing to protect his friends. Well, that was intense. Xehanort's Report 8. My brother pupil Ericus thinks only in absolutes. He has persuaded himself that light is the only way. He forgets that light cannot exist without shadow. I believe a balance of light and darkness is what sustains our world. But too much of the darkness has been stamped out disrupting that balance. Someone must tear down this tyranny of light and reorganize the world around with the darkness with which the light which creeps back in. Ericus and I did not see eye to eye. I left and wandered the world. This was perhaps the first time I felt truly free since that day I departed my boyhood home. But free to do what? I had already shown the mark and become a Keyblade Master, having passed over as a successor. All that remained to me was the road of a teacher. Ordinarily, Keyblade Masters take pupils under their wings, malleable minds to in which to impress the precepts of the Keyblade Wielder and come and keep our profession alive for generations to come. 
It was my time drawing to an end that, after all I had accomplished since I'm casting away the place of my birth, surely waiting for a quiet death would not do. Not when there was still so much I needed to see for myself. Powers help me, I thought. My body is so old. Well, that's not ominous at all. So we have two stars complete. <sighs> Very intense. Um, I think I'm going to head to Olympus Coliseum just so that the Ultima Cannon can get a bit more of a level up before I continue on to the Badlands. Or, I guess, the Keyblade Graveyard, as it is now called. And I will catch you guys when I have done that. So, see you guys soon, hopefully. Alright, everybody. I've gone ahead and I've finished leveling up the Ultima Cannon. I'm gonna land at Land of Departure one last time to see just what's changed. Maybe there's something new here. I don't know, because, I mean... Wow. Let's look at it. <laughs> Pretty much been completely claimed by the darkness. It's actually really sad. Terra, Aqua, and Ben lived here for how long? And now their home is gone. Completely and utterly gone. I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, we came here, or it, we started off here, and it was so. Cheerful and nice, and now it just looks so dark, and dead. It's a very sad sight. I mean, I'm glad it wasn't a populated world, but just seeing this place as it is now, it's really, really kind of depressing. Yeah, I guess there's nothing here for us. At least not right now. Maybe. If I beat the game with everybody else coming back, and individual files will get me something? I honestly don't know. That seems to be sort of a theme. You have to complete it with all three of them. At least the basic story before you unlock everything with each of them. So, I guess we're off to the Keyblade Graveyard. This is probably going to be a longer episode than normal because I think we're going to be wrapping up Terra's story. In its completeness. If the constant signal cuts don't annoy me enough that I agree, shoot this, that is. Oh, ooh, there's Mickey Mouse's head. It's so glitchy right now. I really need to find a better program than Aver Media Center. If anybody out there for friendship knows of a better program then please 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 I'm begging you let me know because this has just gotten completely ridiculous I mean it started off with Dark Souls but now it's even reaching the heart very intense Keyblade great God. very intense very dark This is it. This is the ending of Terra's story here. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Alright. Um. Let's see, we got a chest over here. It looked like there was a chest in there as well. Mega potion in this one. And. An elixir in this one. If we go to our reports, we'll probably find... Yep. Looks like the last sticker is in the Keyblade Graveyard. And the last treasures, there's five more to obtain here. Constant signal cuts are really, really getting I've checked my Fraps movie file, and there's at least 10 different video files for this episode. It's not been as bad since back in the Dwarven Woodlands. We've tamed the map now. 
I don't really know why they give us the maps. I mean, they're kind of useless when you really think about it. But, whatever. Um, well, that doesn't look bad. Um, it's definitely a big area. If the fact that I barely made any progress on the map is a big Whoa! The Twister is coming after me, it's coming after me, it's coming after me. It's like, really, quite literally coming after me. There's our sticker. And here's a chest. Alright, so let's get the chest first. Wind car. Um. The Twister picked us up. What's gonna happen to us? Oh. This isn't that bad, I guess. Me in a sort of pseudo fire! Got my uh, super powerful zone clearing commands can take care of with no problem. Wow. Um, and you drop me right back down here. Alright, let's get the final sticker. The traffic control sticker. There's another chest right there. Sticker collection should be almost complete. I just need to place the last sticker. Place it here. Sticker album complete. Only 132p! What the heck? Why didn't I get 140? Ah. Uh, huh. Maybe it's the arrangement of the stickers or something? Is the arrangement really something? I mean... Uh... This is gonna annoy me. This is really, really gonna annoy me. I'm... I gotta check this. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, everybody. After a little bit of searching... Apparently, I have to arrange the stickers in the proper place to get seven points for said stickers. So, I am going to do that. And, uh, okay. Can I just remove... No, come on. Let me... Okay. I guess I'm going to have to do this a little trickily. Alright, so let's move everything over this way first. I'm just going to show you guys how to properly arrange the stickers because otherwise you might end up getting frustrated like I did. Okay, so this down... No, not the rainbow. This down traffic cone sticker has to be all the way down here, followed by Pete and his car. It looks like you don't want it to touch. Hang on. I'm trying to get the image to open a bit bigger. I can't manage that. Alright. Uh, you want this set just above there. Followed by... This... No. This balloon being there, and then... Yeah, you can even hear, I guess, different sounds if they're placed in a proper place. Um... Keep moving stuff over. Just a little bit more. Alright, this is to be, like, right there. The rainbow is next. These two out of the way. There we go. The rainbow you want there, I guess. Um, I think you want to actually in the background, but I can't seem to get it in the background, so oh well. Um, these out of the way because you are at the edge of the rainbow there, followed by you being there, blue balloon there, orange balloon there, green balloon there, 
Um. No. Uh, that wrong. I want you up there. There we go. Then the orange balloon is underneath the UFO. Um, wait, this goes here. There we go. The UFO goes on. Grab the UFO. The UFO goes underneath like such. Tilted traffic cone goes over there. Followed by him there. That there. This is gonna get annoying, so I'm just gonna come back with the proper format. Sorry, guys. Alright, everybody, I managed to do it. I obtained Rhythm Mixer. This seems to be the closest I could get as fast as possible. So, if you guys need to look, you can just go back and I think and look. But, we obtained the Rhythm Mixer command style. Uh, activate when you're already using command style and follow up with thunder related, mine attack, or strike commands like fire strike. Uh,. If I get a chance to show you guys it, I guess I will. If I don't, then... Sorry. Um, well, I guess I could. Yeah. So, but this is actually a great kind of location to do it to, because there's all these tornadoes that have enemies in them. If it'll just stop cutting out on me, but... Alright, so we have the darkness, which you guys didn't fully get to see. The Rhythm Mixer command style and the Ice Cream command style. So, let's first deck, let's edit our deck real quick, um, for Thunder related commands. Oh, just toss in, come on, where are you? Thunder, Thundara, Thundaga, Thundaga. And then darkness related commands. So well, what is all right? Zero gravity, zero gravity, bra, zero gravity, ga, and magnet. All right, that should let me show you guys the darkness and the um, rhythm mixer ones at least. At least I hope they should. So whoa. Uh, Thunder. Thunder. I really wasn't expecting this. Thunder! Hello? Thunder! Drift! Everything is Drift. giant. Drift! Thunderbolt command style. Gather. Thunder! 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 Ha! Thunder! Run. Ha! I can't seem to hit this thing. Drift! Zero gravity. Ha! There we go. This is a really weird tornado that I got sucked into. This is a really weird tornado that I got sucked into. Alright, so we've entered Dark Impulse Command Style. My movements seem a little bit more erratic in this one. Uh, this is probably not the best tornado to demonstrate these command styles in. Because everything is so unproportionately huge. Alright, hopefully another tornado won't be as bad as this one was, and it knocked us out of the command style, of course it did, of course it did. Alright, tornado suck us up so we can take this down. Come on. Okay, this is much Drift. better. Gather. Thunder. 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 Dara. Thunder. Daga. Thunder. Daga. Drift. Gravity. Drift. Gravity run. All right, dark. No rhythm mixer. Whoa. So it seems to be very rhythmic. We're like doing hopes with it. it seems more like a rapier style rapier. However you want to pronounce it. Oh, 
dang it, you guys didn't get to see the finishes because those things are way too small. Huh. Alright, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show you guys properly inside of these twisters, to be honest. I mean... Maybe... I'm gonna have to see if I can possibly get over to another area or something, because otherwise you guys are not gonna see anything else. I'm still short two items. Maybe if I take out all these tornadoes. Drift! Gather! Magnet! Thunder! 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 And the rhythm mixer. Which allows us to do thrusting attacks. And it's showy. It's very show-off man style, it seems. Yes. Those things are way too short for me to properly demonstrate these command styles. Hmm. Alright. Well, we know that destroying, defeating the enemies in the tornado seems to stop them from spawning, at least. Uh, there's a chest over here. Maybe the tornadoes will get stronger enemies, too, as time goes. And there's a mega ether in there. We won't be able to grab it unless we're... Short one at least. Drift. Drift. These things again. Drift. Gather. Yeah. Want some? Great dark Star Two. Thunder. 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 Daga. Thunder. Thunder. Drift. Gravity. Drift. Gravity. Drift. Gravity. Gather. Thunder. 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 And they're dead. Very spammy sort of fighting style, but hey, it works, I guess. We're definitely gonna have to drop a mega ether, I think it said. Mega ether, I think it said. Yeah, so we're gonna have to drop a mega ether. Hopefully, there's something over here. I'm betting there's another chest over this way as well. What is gonna happen here? More giants. Thunder! 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 Thunder. Thunder! Daga! Thunder! Daga! Grabby Rabbit! Grabby! We're at the mixer again. Boy. Yeah, this is just way too short of boss of enemies to even attack. Okay, that is weird. I can attack in air and sort of freezes me there. But I really want to show you guys the ending commands for each of these, so. Uh, there we go. Another chest. This one contains a mega mixer. So that chest is the last chest in the entire game. I really, really need, like, a save point to get off the world and a shop. And there's the save point, and there's the shop. Excellent. So let's hit up the shop first and sell us a mega ether. No, I said a mega ether. There we go. Go back real quick and pick up that final item so that we can complete the treasure page. Looks like the things didn't respawn on us. Aw. Alright, so the Mega Aether is ours once more. And now I'm gonna head back to the Empress Coliseum so I can demonstrate these command styles in their full screen. So see you guys then. Alright, we're in Olympus Coliseum, we have the Rhythm Mixer command style going, so let's see exactly what sort of ending it has, hopefully. No, not a pot, stop walking out the pot, Terra, you're not a pothead. Come on, almost there. We've got five more enemies to demonstrate it on. Drift! Thankfully, that. Almost there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Rhythm mixer. Okay, so this is kind of unique. Say goodbye. Okay. So that's the rhythm mixer command style. Very odd. Very, very odd. Uh, next command style we'll demonstrate is the Dark 
Impulse One. So we go first into the Thunder, Thunder. Man style. Thunder. Now I'll meet you guys back at the Keyblade Graveyard. <laughs> 